ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. You clicked onto our Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday afternoon, the 13th day of December. Got a couple of very interesting systems to deal with in the next couple of days. One passing through today. Big snowstorm up north with that. And the second one will occur this weekend. Let's get right to some Skycam shots this afternoon. We will begin with the view coming from Birmingham. Nice to see some raindrops on the lens, and temperatures are beginning to fall now that the cold front is on by. Now, we started off the day downright close to 70 in some spots, but we note the temperatures up in northwest Alabama are down close to 50 right now. There's our Gadsden sky cam, and again, it's kind of a novelty seeing raindrops on these sky cams. It's been awfully dry for a long, long time, and the rain today is not going to help the drought, but a little moisture is good. Around the nation, you can see our two systems. Number one is the shortwave that's lifting up through uh, Indiana and Kentucky, producing a wintry mess up in the northeastern states. Heavy snow warnings up for parts of that uh, section of the country. And the new trough is uh, digging back into the southwest United States, so taking the place of the one that lifted out. And that's the one that will bring another major snowstorm to parts of the country this weekend, and hopefully some decent rain amounts here. Temperature, as you can see, the uh, pressure, uh, the temperature gradient pretty tight over the uh, northwest part of the state. Readings are in the uh, 70s down south. Readings are close to 50 up in northwest Alabama. About a 20-degree swing there on either side of that front. And finally, the cool air will win the battle. And boy, look at the cold air in Canada. Are you kidding me? I see, uh, what, a minus 35 up there in uh, Saskatchewan. And that's at midday today. Here's a look at the radar is of uh, midday. Uh, this was taken at actually 11.54 this morning, a little before noon. You can see a couple of bands of showers along our front, and that's about it. We never expected a big rain event today. We're certainly not getting it. I think the highest rainfall total I've seen so far with the sky watchers today, just one-tenth of an inch. Now, this is the expected rain through Tuesday morning of next week, and really that big strip of purple, that's with our weekend storm, and you can clearly see where the low-pressure track should be and the heaviest rain should be. Uh, the uh, heavier precipitation running from around uh, Shreveport to Louisville and Pittsburgh and Boston. And uh, some of that will be falling in the form of snow. We're talking potential for a big snow event north of here on Saturday. In fact, tomorrow it begins. This is the snow probabilities for tomorrow. Now, this is the probability of at least four inches of snow. The bullseye is southern Kansas, where they are still on ice from the ice storm earlier this week. And, of course, the snow will fall over parts of Oklahoma. Winter storm watches up there. And then uh, Saturday, big-time snows moving northeast. Uh, the uh, bullseye there from St. Louis up to uh, uh, interior New England. And, uh, boy, it's gonna, they're going to be slammed up there. They're, they're going to be measuring the snow in terms of feet instead of inches with this thing. It will be one to remember. Now, let's look at the watch warning board. Uh, up north, we've got uh, the winter storm warnings up for uh, – Parts of New York, Pennsylvania, uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, heavy snow warnings included in that are north of New York City. And that's the system that's lifting out of there today. Now, the second one that will be coming out of the southwest uh, already prompting a winter storm watch for parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. And uh, they're going to see two to five inches of snow on top of the ice. What a December to remember for those folks. Let's go through the GFS. What do you say? This is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow, noon Friday, at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. There's your new trough in the southwest. Saturday, the trough lifts out. This one doesn't stay out there for days like the first one. This one's going to come on out. And let's get down and dirty here. Let's get down to the surface and see what we've got. Again, this is new model output, valid at noon Saturday. The latest run here suggesting the surface low will be somewhere near Winfield, Alabama with the heaviest rain lined up from uh, central Louisiana up to Nashville. And at midday, it's still got much of Alabama dry. The rain-snow line, the approximate rain-snow line, that zero-degree blue line, that's the freezing line at 5,000 feet or, or so. It doesn't always work, but it works pretty well. We'll go to 6 o'clock Saturday evening. This is when it gets interesting. The storm deepens. Beginning to move off to the northeast, some heavier rain moving into Alabama. That uh, zero-degree line at 5,000 feet, the rain-snow line, coming through Memphis, coming through Greenville, Mississippi. <clears throat> but note the heavier moisture is off to the east of that line. So 
Again, uh, at this point, we don't expect a major accumulation for those folks. But let's go to midnight Saturday night. Now, this looks interesting. The surface low is kind of reforming close to the coast. Our uh, rain-snow line, the approximate rain-snow line at midnight Saturday night, running from Anniston down to Grove Hill down there in southwest Alabama. <clears throat> and really, this is hinting here that there could be enough moisture for uh, – Some pretty good snowflakes up there over the northeastern part of the state. And again, I would love to be at DeSoto State Park on Lookout Mountain and spending the night in a cabin Saturday night to see if snowflakes do indeed come down. But that's the reason we're mentioning a chance of light snow or snow flurry Saturday night. You just can't ignore that. No, it's not going to be a big deal because the ground is warm. The flakes will melt. But it should be an interesting novelty if that happens. And then we'll go to Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, and there's still wraparound moisture here. That's suggesting snow flurries for about the northern half of the state, and that's the reason we've mentioned that in the forecast, a chance of flurries early Sunday morning. And look at that thing bombing out up there, surface low uh, not too far from Atlantic City. Big, big, big snows uh, over the interior parts of uh, Pennsylvania and New York. Now, for the immediate coast, the cities of New York and uh, Washington, Baltimore, probably rain with that, but big snows inland. And then midday Sunday, the thing deepens, and that looks like a classic New England blizzard up there. It will be similar to our blizzard of 93. Now, of course, they get those a little more often up there, but I think it it indeed will be an event to remember. Sunday's going to be a cold day. That zero-degree line is way down there almost to Mobile. We'll have a hard time getting up into the low 40s. We'll go to Monday. Uh, dry and cold uh, early Monday morning. We're talking mid-20s. I bet you some of the colder valleys could reach the upper teens early Monday. And there's Tuesday of next week. We'll just kind of progress on through the week. We'll stay dry. Wednesday, moisture begins to feed back up through the uh, Mississippi Valley. And then Thursday of next week, look at the rain out there in Texas. Now, this is rain as the cold air retreats north. So instead of ice or snow, uh, this time for Tulsa and our friends out there, this will be rain. And then we'll go to uh, Friday, a week from tomorrow, the 21st of December, and the GFS is very persistent in advertising a good rain event. Negative tilt shortwave trough coming through, surface low at Nashville, and that looks awfully wet, and wet is what we need. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. That turns out to be a good one. We'll jump out to Christmas Eve, what do you say? Now, the timing is just all over the board here. This is a very active pattern, but on this run, uh, the GFS has a shortwave west of the state. That's suggesting a surface low at Biloxi. Uh, Christmas Eve, the 24th, and that looks awfully wet, if this is correct. And then on uh, Christmas Day, that thing is on by. And again, that looks like another northeast blizzard. These folks are going to be buried in snow up there at the the rate we're going here. And then on the uh, 28th, another big trough off to the west, and once again, that looks kind of wet. And that looks snowy for much of the nation's heartland. But I do think we, we've got a great chance at getting at least three good rain events here before the year is over. This is still going to be the driest year on record, but it'll be like throwing us a bone or something at the end of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And uh, the next video will be posted by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. 